Hey guys, welcome to Easter Fun Day. What's this? Well, it's Earthbound! The 1994 RPG. Amazing. This game is really old. But you know what? I'm gonna play it because it's a classic. And if you didn't play this game, then... You're younger than me. Because my brother played this game. Oh look, wonderful, I don't care. My brother played this game when he was, like, my age. And I used to be scared to death of this game because this game is a little bit weird. But you know what? I'm old enough, I think. I think I am mature enough to handle the intensity of this game. And I thought it'd, really be, it'd be really fun because, like, this is a Nintendo game. And Nintendo games are usually fun. Some of them are, at least. So you know what? Let's get right into it. A text speed. Let's do medium. A stereo sound, okay? Ooh. Fancy. These are all hurting my eyes, so I'm just gonna do a normal one. Please name him. This is Ness, guys. I would put my name, but last time I tried putting my own name into a guy's um, character thing, it didn't work. So I'm just gonna put Ness, because I'm unoriginal. Alright. Wonderful. Name her. What's her actual name? Paula. What kind of a name is That's the lamest name ever. We're gonna call her... Um, call her Annie because she's singing. Is there small letters? All right, wonderful. Guys, meet not Anna, Annie, right? This is Annie. This freak over here, what's his name? Jeff. All right, well I'm Jeff, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna change the spelling to Jeff. Right? Wonderful. And this kid. Guys, it's Aang. Guys, look! It's Aang in a different life. Right? It's Aang, guys. Wonderful. My pet! <gasps> I have a dog! Oh my god! His name shall be... He's so cute! What should I call him? Let's call him... Let's call him Bones. I have a reason for that, and I'll explain it in a second. Bones. Where's the S? Alright. Can I just click enter? Oh, yeah, I can. My favorite homemade food. Um. Pfft. I don't know. There's not enough space to put anything in there. There's literally, like, six places to put something. I can't fit anything in there. I'll just put freaking i don't know pizza ps4 ps4 no pizza because that's really the only food i can fit it's not homemade unless you make it yourself in which case it can be homemade what's my favorite thing i don't know um oh what did i put in the last one uh rockin Rock, rockin. That's no. I'm gonna use what I did before because it's nice. It's really cheesy, but I don't care. It's it's a beautiful thing, right? There you go. All right, guys. Ness, Annie, Jeff, and Ang. I don't know. I don't know about Ang. I don't care. The coolest thing is love, right? Bones is my dog, and my favorite f food is pizza. Wonderful. Oh, sounds. All right. Earthbound. And again, this is a really old game, so it's going to look kind of funky in terms of graphics. The year is 1990X. Okay. This is a nice little town, isn't it? Not really. It looks actually kind of weird. Won it? Or on it. A small town in Eagle Land. Okay. Eagle Land. On it. On it to Eagle Land. What bizarre names. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. One it's on it? I'm gonna say on it. Okay. Is this my house? Do I live here? Yes, this is Ness's house. And what is Ness doing at this time of night? He's sleeping. What a good child. Good Ness. You should be sleeping at this time. 
I'd be kind of surprised if you weren't. Oh, what's that? I hear stuff. How are you still Okay, I was about to say, how are you still sleeping through that? Let's instantly wake up. Can I talk to this? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to the wind. I'm talking to the air, okay? I hear police cars. Check. No problem here. Right? I Who has a bookshelf in their room? Actually, there's a bookshelf behind me. Never mind. Who has a, like a, a separate desk in their room like this? That's so bizarre. All right. And all the lights have magically turned on. Hi, kid. Who are you? Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Yes. Why aren't you in your pajamas? Were you freaked out? Of course I was freaked out. I didn't look like it, though. Why aren't you wearing your pajamas? There's a present here. I'm gonna steal it. There's a cracked bat inside. A cracked bat. Again. Why aren't you wearing your pajamas? Uh, okay. How do I equip stuff? Weapon. A cracked bat. I'm gonna have to get used to this, because I'm not used to this. This little menu and things. Alright, so, what I was gonna explain before is that, um, I played Mother 3, which is the second game, is the, the, the sequel to Earthbound, which came out in, like, 2005 or something. And I, the dog's name was Boney, and I called him Bones. Hi, dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Because there's a freaking dog- Dog? There's a freaking explosion outside. Who are you? What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Okay, fine. Thanks, Mom. Um, so yeah, I played Mother 3, and it was, a, since it's newer, it's a lot easier to manage and control and stuff. But, I mean, this is pretty good. This is, what, 1995? A phone. No problem here. There's a phone here. There's definitely a problem here. Can I talk to the phone? Oh, I can. Beep. Thanks, phone. Very useful. Alright. Let's see what happened. Oh, this music sounds nice. Hi, guy. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite, meteorite situation too seriously. If there was a meteorite, I would be more concerned about that than going home. South of the suburbs of Onnit. Yes, um, yeah, that's not that hard to figure out. Don't panic. It's just a, what? Meteorite that, who? Fell. It's just a, what? Meteorite that, who fell. I just wanna what? Go home. Are you on the? Are you on your walkie-talkie? Are you okay? On it, police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. World record of closing down stuff. I'm not talking to anyone. I don't want to talk to it. I want to check it. So I can't go that way. So that's great. So instead, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Hi. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it. Okay. I'm going to try to be the first to get there. But you're not, because you're just walking in place. So I don't think you're going to get very far. I'm just going to break into your house, if you don't mind. Thanks. Hey, kid. Who are you? Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother ran out of here to chase after a police car. Okay. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Picky? Mom and dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegance restaurant. So your name's Picky, and your brother's name is Pokey. Oh gosh, what, was your, what do your parents think of you? Picky and pokey. Like, they were born, they're like, you're really picky, so I'm gonna call you picky, and you like to poke stuff, so you're gonna be pokey. I'm gonna talk to this bed. Nope? Okay. Man, so many limited options here. Okay. Um. So there wasn't really no point coming to this house, except talking to freaking picky over here. Alright. Uh, is there anything magical? There's police. Who's that? I see police, a little kid. Alright. I guess we'll go this way. Hi, police. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, Pronto. Excuse me. I am... I don't even know how old I am, but I am a certain age, and I'm allowed to go out. My mom let me, okay? 
A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. You and me both, man. I am starving right now. I'm just sitting here in my pajamas, freaking wishing I had a bowl of chips or something. Uh, even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? No. I mean, it depends, really, but there's a present there. I want it. Give me that present. Hi. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? No, I actually don't. Right now, it's 9.53 p.m., but I don't know what time it is here. It might be like 2 in the morning for all I know. What's in the box? We're, I'm talking to the box. Ness open the present. There's a bread roll inside. Ness takes it. That's really annoying. Only the first letter is capitalized. How do I open? How do I open stuff like that? Good. See, it's... Why? It's so annoying. Only the first thing's capitalized. How depressing. That's what happens when you have OCD. Everything has to be, like, the same or just not there at all. Hi. Who are you? Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Whoops, I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Ness... Did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Sir, you made absolutely no sense. Let's check the billboard. Treasure Hunter. This is li Liar li Liar Liar X Agarate's house. Agarate's house. Congratulations. That sign's amazing. Also, you live in a very small house. Then again, this is an RPG, in which case houses are always bigger on the inside. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. It looks like like a meteorite. Hello, child. Who are you? Who are you talking? I'm talking to this kid. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Is it rude to say... Oh, you're pokey. Tomorrow, I pokey will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. What are you- What? You're trying to get in. You don't think you're- You're helping at all. <sighs> nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? I mean, I actually don't know. Are we friends? He just- He knows my name. Uh, no. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. What if I talk to him again? Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Yeah, I could do something. Yes. And you live in the house next to his. I see. What? That doesn't do anything. Shh. Shh. Why, why are you shushing me? Hi. Clear out. Get out of my way. 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 Whoops. My mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Oh, of way out get my. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, so... I can't do anything that way. So how am I supposed to get up there? Let's see here. Pokey's being an idiot and like, you know, just running and claiming to be helping, but he's not. So Pokey, I'm just going to leave you be. Where? Where? Where do I go? I already talked to you. What if I go down here? Is there anything interesting? Uh, another officer, another car. Jeez, did I walk this far, really? Uh, okay, so this doesn't go anywhere, does it? No, this just goes back around. Okay. My mom just stood outside. See, look how small the house is comparison to me. I'd be a giant if I were living there. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. No. No, Ness. You don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep. Look, Mom. I have more important things to worry about, like meteorites and pokey. So, you know what? I'm going to be a rebel and I'm not going to listen to my mother. But I don't actually... Th can I actually... I don't think I could do anything. Yeah, I don't think I could do anything. It didn't go anywhere else except up to the hilltop. So... Mom, I'm going to rebel against my rebellion, and I'm going to go to sleep. Not because he told me, though. Because I'm a rebel of my own rebellion, right? 
right? It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. So get off to bed now. Fine. There you go. Are you happy now, Mom? Better be. Later that night. Why is there so many things happening? There's a knock. Someone's knocking. Mom, get the door. You seem to be downstairs already. Why do I have to open the door? I should be sleeping. Okay, that's a really odd knocking. Why are you up? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. What an annoying sister you are. Why aren't you in bed? Why aren't you knocking the- Why aren't you answering the door? My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? You've been down here for the past- I don't even know how long. Apparently you live down here. I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie and still for now. Fine. I don't want to- Mom. Why don't you get the door? Are you following me? Get away from me! Go away! Stop following me! Let's just- Let's just sit here for a moment and listen- Oh! Never mind. I was gonna listen to the knock, but whatever. Pokey. Hey, l l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Anyway, as I was. Why is my phone going off? Jesus. Sorry about that. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. What? You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians, and they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Am I? Won't you help me find Picky? Sure. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? And she just goes to the couch. Can I take my dog with me? Oh, I want to take my dog with me. Can I talk to the phone? Beep. How do you save your game? Is there a... I'm not talking to anyone. Anyway. I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take Bones along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room can help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go for it. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. I agree. And now everything's lit up because everyone's house should be like this active at like, I don't know, what, four in the morning or something? Hi, sister. Did you teleport? I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way. So here's a cookie. Thank you. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? No, I'm good. Be careful. All right. Dog, you're coming with me. Do you want me to go with you? Yeah. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Yay. I have a new party member. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him go. Oh my god. I love him. All right, Pokey. What do you want? All right, you go on front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. You're gonna... Where'd you go? You're gone. Where'd you... Okay. Oh, the phone's ringing. That's probably it. Hi, phone. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Hi, dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Ooh. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from the, any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wah ha ha! What kind of a laugh is that? Slam! Beep. Did you slam the phone, Dad? How dare you? Very rude. Can I save now? Talk to you, Dad. Alright, there you go. Ness, it's your dad. Well, X EXP to get to the next level. Ness, four. What? Oh, experience to get to the next level. Ness, four. Anyway, what do you need from me? I need a record. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. Alright. Alright. Bye, Dad. Thank you. Love you. So, yeah, I'm gonna end right here. I think this is a good first episode to introduce you kind of to, like, 
how Earthbound is and how it plays out and stuff. Uh, I like it so far in the first 20 minutes that I've played it. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll play another episode or two, and if I get any feedback, then I'll decide whether or not I want to actually play the full game or not. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like or a comment or something, or maybe subscribe if you want to keep seeing. I mean, that is an option. And yeah, next time I'll pick it up right here, and I will continue on my quest to find this kid's brother because he's lazy or something. Also, look at his mouth, and look at his eyes. What the heck is that? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, hold down the fort, and I hope you all have an excellent, wonderful, amazing, fun day. Bye! I didn't think about that. Is anyone selling food? I think he's not gonna eat in days. I need food! Someone give me food! I haven't eaten in four days! Are you selling food? Buggy? Buggy? No? Okay. Congra congratulations, you got credits. But you don't have a weapon. What is it? It's worthless! I, bet I wonder if I have to buy one. Ooh! Ooh, that was. Drinking so much chocolate.